Freezing and Melting by Robin Nelson, Science Library. Water can be a liquid. Water in a river is a liquid. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Water can be a solid. Water in ice is solid. What's the difference between liquid and solid? Between water in a river and water as ice? Water can change from a liquid to a solid. What's happening here? Is it frozen? Yes, this is called freezing. The change from liquid to solid is called freezing. Water can change from a solid to a liquid, too. Hmm, what's that called? That's right, it's called melting. Drip, drip, drip. The solid is melting back into liquid. Water freezes when it gets cold. Mm-hmm. Frozen water melts when it gets warm. Ah. Water freezes into ice cubes. Water takes the shape of its container. You see? And ice cubes, they melt into water when they get warm enough. On a cold day, water freezes into icicles. Ooh, you ever seen icicles hanging off of your roof? On a warm day, the icicles melt. Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> it's fun to watch them drip. Lakes freeze in the winter. On the surface, anyway. <laughs> and snowmen melt in the spring. That's a funny snowman. I like its eyebrows. Here's a little experiment you can do with water. Because water can change from a liquid to a solid and back to a liquid, we can show this with an experiment. When water freezes or melts, the amount of water stays the same. Hmm. Do you think the amount of water stays the same when you boil it? It changes from a liquid to a gas? Try this experiment. Measure one cup of water, freeze it, and then let it melt. Measure the amount of water again. It will still be one cup of water. That's the hypothesis. Let's test it. Observe, hypothesize, experiment, analyze, and make a report. Let's try. Step one, fill up one cup of water. Exactly. Step two, let that freeze. Step three, let it melt. Step four, measure the amount of water and record your results. Here's a few facts about freezing and melting. At normal atmospheric pressure, water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius or centigrade. Water expands when it freezes. So if you put a full bottle of water in the freezer, it will explode or break the bottle. The water in the bottle takes up more room when it freezes. Hmm. Glaciers are large masses of ice that move very slowly over land. They are formed from snow on the tops of high mountains. Ice is less dense than water. That's why it's buoyant. It floats in water. Water is very interesting in that respect. Oftentimes you might think that a solid would, would weigh more. Lakes freeze on the top, from the top down, right? You can, some of them you can skate on. 
But under the water, under the layer of frozen ice, I mean, <laughs> there's still liquid water. And that's where the fish survive in the cold winters. Hmm. And there's things called icebergs, large blocks of glaciers that break off and float away. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Now, there's a glossary of terms here. Freezing means the change from a liquid to a solid. Icicles are hanging pieces of ice formed by dripping water. Liquid is something that you can pour, and it takes the shape of its container. And it will always be level. Melting is changing from a, a solid to a liquid. You can melt ice, but you can also melt metal. Mm. All depends on the temperature and the material. Solid is something with a shape. It's not a liquid, nor a gas, but a solid. Hmm. If you wanted to read about freezing, ice cubes, icicles, lakes, melting, or snowmen, these are the pages you could find them on. This is called the index. <laughs> The End, Freezing and Melting, by Robin Nelson. <laughs>